Hey everybody, Punisher88 here. So it's that time once again. Yes, it's time for a movie review. And you know, I seem to be getting pretty accustomed to doing these. Maybe maybe I won't do it as an every an every week thing, as I originally had the idea to, but maybe when there's the, the big anticipated movies coming out, maybe I'll I'll do reviews of them. Anyway, so let's talk about the Power Rangers movie. I get my notes here. All right, so it's it's hard to say uh, what's more um, indicative of Hollywood's uh, franchise happy, uh, nostalgia centric present. Uh, the fact that there's a new Power Rangers movie uh, in theaters with a budget of over a hundred million dollars, or the fact that it's pretty good. Uh, it seems that studios long ago hit rock bottom uh, in their efforts to mine every marginally beloved piece of uh, pop culture from a certain generation's childhood to make new reboots and sequels. Uh, nonetheless, uh, they kept digging, and the latest result is Power Rangers, uh, a bizarre mishmash of teen drama, uh, kitschy sci-fi action, and a heap of uh, winking throwbacks for children of the 90s. <laughs> uh, it sounds like a holy mess, but incredibly, it succeeds on the uh, back of some extremely self-aware charm. Now, of course, the 93 kids' TV series, The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, was itself a bizarre mishmash. I'll, I'll admit it. As much as I was a super fan of the show, yeah, it was it was a bit bizarre. Uh, it cut together action scenes, of course, from uh, the Japanese TV series, the long-running Super Sentai, uh, in which costume heroes uh, fought strange monsters and giant robots, with footage of American actors playing high school students. Uh, it was a huge success pitched right at second graders. A violent, pleasantly tacky blend of genres and visual aesthetics uh, designed to sell toys. Oh, and I had my fair share of them. Uh, in 2017, this is what amounts to a beloved pop culture property. Um, with every comic book and children's toy line already franchised to the gills, uh, there are only so many options left to really fling at viewers uh, in this uh, hyper-extended summer season. Uh, happily, this new Power Rangers seems uh, delighted by the ridiculousness of the work it's adapting. Though there's some effort to move beyond the Save by the Bell approach of the original show and pump in a grittier teen vibe, think something along the lines of Riverdale or a sillier Friday Night Lights. And this is still a movie that opens on a scene set in the Cretaceous period where a nude and blue-skinned alien called Zordon, played by Brian Cranston, uh, summons a meteor to strike the Earth to wipe out his nemesis, Rita Repulsa, played by the gorgeous Elizabeth Banks. Uh, the dinosaurs, it seems, were unintended collateral damage, though. Uh, 65 million years later, uh, near-do-well quarterback Jason Scott, played by, um, I hope I say his name right, uh, Decker Montgomery, I'm sticking to that, uh, who looks like a generic drugstore version of Zac Efron, yeah, <laughs> uh, gets sent to uh, detention for stealing a cow and totaling his car in the sleepy seaside town of Angel Grove, California. Uh, this sets into motion a breakfast club style chain of events where five mismatched kids become fast friends and discover some mysterious glowing coins buried in a nearby mountain that can turn them into alien super soldiers, as you do. Uh, but don't stress uh, the details too much. 
Uh, Power Rangers doesn't want you to, after all. Uh, it's mostly going for high school buddy comedy, uh, crossed with some mildly psychedelic sci-fi nonsense. Uh, Jason's new friends are Kimberly, played by Naomi Scott, a former cool girl now on the outs from her cheerleader friends after a cyberbullying scandal. We got Billy, played by R.J. Seiler, an autistic boy who's good with gadgets. We got Trini, played by uh, singer Becky G. I, I, I just tell him as I see them. I, I'm not familiar with all these new singers and whatnot. Anyway, um, an outsider who hints that she's questioning her sexuality. And Zach, played by Ludi Lin. An aggressively enthusiastic Chinese American bro who's not afraid to brag about how much he loves his mother. Uh, every line of dialogue ranges between clumsily heartfelt and nakedly absurd. Uh, the performances are like, are sorry, are all likable, uh, though only Silers would be called truly proficient. Uh, the others make up for it with sheer enthusiasm, uh, which Power Rangers has in spades. Uh, going in, uh, I feared this film would feel blandly uh, competent and that it would uh, be a brand exercise with too much money behind it to embrace its forebears lovable weirdness. Again, being a fan of MMPR and whatnot, you know, you kind of set your standards a little high going into this thing. Anyway, uh, not so, though. Uh, some of the movie's oddest moments feel inadvertent, uh, like the suddenness with which uh, it lurches between uh, angsty conversations about revenge porn and chase sequences involving robotic mastodons. Power Rangers uh, always remembers not to take itself seriously. I mean, how could it when uh, its plot concerns a 65 million year old alien diva trying to dig up an ancient crystal that's buried below a Krispy Kreme place? Hmm? Uh, anytime Power Rangers threatens to get too earnest, though, uh, Banks shows up babbling straight at the camera uh, about gold and a performance that functions as a uh, delightfully campy homage to the 90s show. Uh, Cranston honoring his years of work as a voice actor on the show. I bet a lot of you didn't know that, but the true Power Ranger fans out there probably did, uh, or do, I should say, uh, is a little more routine as the Ranger's mentor, Zordon, uh, barking orders at them from behind a spaceship view screen. Uh, the film eventually... Uh, descends into mediocre CGI-dependent action, but it takes more than an hour for it to be morphin' time. Uh, eventually, the heroes don their brightly colored armor and jump into their dinosaur-themed robots to save the day, and yes, one of their key battles takes place in an unremarkable quarry, as was tradition on the show. And uh, still, most of uh, Power Rangers is a winning and cartoonish coming-of-age tale about supermodel, pretty misfit kids bonding in the belly of an alien spaceship. Uh, in other words, it's a March blockbuster that understands just how silly it needs to be. Uh, Power Rangers might be destined for the failed franchise heap, or it might be the beginning of an interminable saga. Who knows? But at least it remembers where it came from. Uh, my one or maybe two real gripes with this movie, uh, of course, was Goldar. I'm not going to go into it, just him being a huge giant mass of gold and, again, knowing how Goldar looked in the, the show and everything, Maybe maybe it's a little too much to ask. Maybe that's a little too campy for, for nowadays, but I don't know. My Goldar is the TV Goldar, not the 
huge giant winged blob monster. Anyway, um, the end. <laughs> Making the Megazord dance. Mm -mm, that wasn't for me, but a. As much as I admit it wasn't for me, I, I got a cheap little <laughs> laugh out of it. And um, at first I was like, yeah, the suits, you know, they look like Iron Man armor, blah, blah, blah. They even make a joke about that in the movie. So I was like, okay, uh, at least they're able to make fun of it, you know, so in that whole kind of way. So I was okay with it. Uh, overall, uh, I... I would give this movie four out of five. Hell yeah, uh, I'll I'll go there. Four out of five stars for Power Rangers. Uh, my next movie review I'm gonna do is of Kong Skull Island. I'll try and have that out by next Monday. And um, yeah, that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, movie review. And uh, if you did, make sure to give her a thumbs up. If not, give her a thumbs down, and if you enjoy uh, videos like this one, well, I have a couple reviews out already, so take a look around my channel for them, or maybe I'll, I'll put them together in a nice little playlist for you guys. Uh, and as well, while looking around my channel, make sure to comment on any video you like, because I love reading them as well as answering them. And also, while looking around, make sure to like or dislike any video you watch. Yes, I did say dislike, because let's face it, no one's perfect, right? And then, when all is said and done, before leaving, make sure to click that subscribe button. Alrighty, so that's it for now, but I will see you guys on Wednesday for another weekly dose of lame supervillain or superhero goodness. Alrighty, so till then, this is Punisher88, signing off. See ya! Let's try that again. See ya!